So I've got that Monport CO2 laser and I've got a bunch of these slate coasters from another laser, which I bought a bunch of them and that laser was garbage and doesn't work reliably. So I'm stuck with all these slate coasters. Always curious to see how well they would work in the CO2. Mind you, this is the first image I use and this is the first run. I guessed on the settings. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, it could use a lot of, of refinement, but you know, that's something for another day. Uh, I would just do like a test pattern or something, maybe on the back and try to figure out what speed and powers I want. But I, it's turned out really good. I don't know how well you can see Beavis and Butthead there. Um, but I mean, they came out pretty good. This took, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something. And it, it it's great. Like, I probably didn't use the best image. This was just a vector graphic and uh, I didn't like the vector graphic version. So I kind of colorized it and did it as like a, a bitmap or something. And it definitely needed some work. Sorry, there's a gnat here that's kind of getting on my nerves. If you were just doing a vector image, it would be easy because you wouldn't have to worry about the different power settings and trying to get the colors to kind of look all right in grayscale. And you could just rip through here, man, with a with a simple line image and do a cool little coaster or uh, like a commemorative thing for a pet. Um, someone asked me recently how well this laser would do granite so they could do like a little memorial thing for their pet. And I was like, well, I don't have any granite, but let me try on some slate. And that's why I did this. And I showed it to them and they were like, cool, cool. So yeah, like it, it, it did this surprisingly well. I, I am very happy. And one thing to think about here with the slate too is I've actually had some of the slate trip the fire sensor for another laser I have because there are random deposits in the material. Um, I've actually seen like pyrite or something in these before. And some of the ones that I have like a little chunk of pyrite or, or some kind of crystalline metal. So, you know, you can, you can get better materials. There's actually a piece of metal right there that you can see if the light catches it just right. It's over there too. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that on Slate. I wanna play with it some more, figure it out. If you got any recommended settings, let me know in the comments. I am new to this laser. I am new to CO2 lasers. I am new to lasers in general. So I'm just kind of stumbling around in the dark here. If you're interested in this laser and what it can do, check out some of my other videos. There's tons of them. I've been churning them out with materials for this thing. So people that are interested in buying it can come see what it does. Uh, I love stuff like that myself. Like that's how I buy things. I just go look at videos and watch a bunch of videos and I'm like, yeah, okay, that seems cool. There will be a link to this in the description. There will be a link to it in the sticky comment. There's a coupon code, discount code down there for Monport, Ryan Mercer, one word, should save you about 10%. And that is an affiliate thing. I do get a little bit of kickback of that. Costs you nothing extra, saves you money, makes me a little money. Thanks for stopping by. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.